All right, so we have yet another unit. This is the second one this semester, uh, target 7A. And uh, we're going to represent real-world situations with linear systems. Okay, before you may have done linear equations, or you did do linear equations. Now you're going to do systems. So basically what that means is you're going to be given a word problem, and you have to write your own equations. Notice that's plural. Before, you only had to write one. Okay, so again, similar to what you've done in the past, but instead of writing a single equation, you're going to write two, okay, which we call a system of equations. Basically, that means that the variables within the system have the same value. So if you say that like x is something, x is going to mean the same thing for both equations. Um, eventually, you're going to have to determine what those values are. So you're going to have to solve for x and solve for y, but we'll get into that in the next target. Today, we're just going to practice defining what variables represent, and we're going to practice writing the system. So, let's get started. This is example one. Okay, so again, two parts. Part A, define the two variables. Part B, write a system of equations that models the situation. All right, so the problem is you and your friend go shopping for gift wrap one day. You buy three rolls of wrapping paper and five bows for a total of $32. Your friend gets one roll of wrapping paper and two bows for a total of $11. So first things first, we have to define the two variables. So let's define wrapping paper as W and bows as B. So basically you're looking for, oh, let me go back there. You're looking for something that appears twice. So wrapping paper here, wrapping paper there. We know that that needs to be one variable. And then we have bows. And we have both, so that needs to be another variable. All right, so we bought three rolls of wrapping paper, so we'd say 3W, and then we bought also bought five bows, so that would be 5B. And we spent a total of $32, so it's equal to 32. So W and B are basically the cost of the wrapping paper and the cost of the bows. Okay, so for the second one, so that was the equation for us. Now we're going to uh, write the equation for our friend. So he or she only bought one roll of wrapping paper. So we could say 1W or just W, because remember, you don't have to write a 1 if it's the coefficient. And then two bows, so that would be 2B. And then that uh, the total spent was $11, so it would just be equal to 11. That's it. This is A right here. Defining what they are, and this is B, writing the system. Simple enough. Let's try another example. Okay, so again, we're defining the two variables, and we're writing a system of equations that models it. So hats and mittens are on sale. One woman is able to buy five hats and four pairs of mittens for $30. Another woman purchases three pairs of mittens and two hats for $19. Okay, now, something to be careful of here. Pairs of mittens and pairs of mittens. So what I want you to be aware of is that they're listed in a different order. So we're going to say H is hats, M is mittens. So for our first one, we were bought, we bought five, or the woman bought five hats, so it would be 5H, and four pairs of mittens, so that would be plus 4M, and that's equal to $30. Now for this next one, since we started off with H here, we want to start off with H in the next one. So here we have hats. So she bought two hats and three mittens. So 2H plus 3M and spent $19. So make sure you are being careful and being aware of what is going with what. Because these need to represent the same thing. If you accidentally said, you know, went in the same order, said, okay, 5H, 4M, and then you accidentally made this 3H, you would be mistaken. So these need to represent the same thing. So if you underline it, highlight it, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Just don't make that mistake. So I would like you to try this example on your own. Uh, and again, define the two variables and then write the system of equations. So write the two equations. So take a minute, pause this, and then come back to it and see if you got it right. So first define it, then write the equations. All right. So you could have used a number of different variables. Uh, hopefully you got that uh, there was kids and adults. Again, you could have used X and Y if you had preferred. All right, so the first family, there were five kids, so we say 5K, and two adults, so we say 2A. 
and that's equal to $25 that they spent. Next, we had three kids and one adult. So we could just say 3K plus A, and that's equal to 14. Good. Hopefully you got that. Um, if not, uh, try and figure out what you did wrong there. And if you still don't understand, ask me questions when you see me. All right. So some final tips for success. Make sure that when you write your equations that the variables represent the same thing in each equation. Okay. So like the hats and mittens, H was hats in both, M was mittens in both. Put your variables in the same place. So basically, if you list your, if we used X and Y and you did whatever, you know, whatever your coefficient is X plus whatever your coefficient is Y, the next one should follow that same pattern with X coming first and Y coming second. It just makes it easier and you'll see Y in the units that are coming up. And then finally, double check that you have the correct coefficient for each variable. Um, so make sure that the number that's in front of the variable matches what's in the word problem. And that's it. Uh, help, hope you had a nice long weekend. And hopefully you are doing this and coming to class prepared with notes. Take care.